Akuna Matata. Now, y'all, I was going to see The Lion King yesterday, and I'm a 90s baby. I was raised in the 90s, okay, and I really, it was so nostalgic to go back and see. Um, I, I was going to say go see Akuna Matata, <laughs> go see The Lion King. It was a really good movie. I'm glad they didn't really mess with the storyline too much because it's a classic in my opinion, but it was really dope. So I had found my Akuna Matata shirt and decided to wear it today, okay? Okay. This shirt, this video ain't about Akuna Matata or your shirt, but <laughs> just wanted to say that, y'all. This video today is about books, girl. It's about books. So somebody asked me a while ago to um, talk about some books, give you guys some book recommendations for so you guys can go read or whatever. And so I'm here finally to do that. And if you're interested in this hair girl, go watch the video. I'm gonna uh, link it down below or somewhere in this video so you can go watch that video about this hair because it's cute or whatever. It's really cute. I like it. It's a new look for me. I usually go really long when I wear braids. So it's a new look for me. It's interesting. It's different. Um, but I do like it. So if you, if you want to know more about it, I'll link the video so you can figure out, you know, what's good with this hair. But anyway, <laughs> so um, I am, I like to read books, girl. It's just something that I like to do. And I'm a huge fan of Octavia Butler. She's like dope.com to me. And I think I have read almost all of her books, if not all of her books. And I was kind of sad because like I got to the end and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm so sad because she's gone. She's not here with us anymore to write anymore. So I need to find something to read. And I did um, go out and find some other books that was kind of like similar of the, in a similar genre. And I happened upon this author right here who I'm about to talk about. Her name is Nilo. Hopkinson and this book that I'm about to talk about are both fantasy novels and fantasy magic mythical mystic um and all those kind of books are my type of books sci-fi my type of books especially when it's coming from an African lens or a black lens I really appreciate it it don't have to be but I really appreciate it more when it's coming from a lens that I can really really kind of relate to but Nilo sus you did that, okay? The two books that I have in my hand are Brown Girl in the Ring and Midnight Robber. And one thing that I really like about the book is the art, the cover art. The cover art is so dope, y'all. It's so dope to me. It kind of looks a little creepy and scary, but it's so dope. I really like the cover art on these books. And yeah, so let's start with Brown Girl in the Ring, okay? Because this is a book that I just got through reading. So we're going to start with Brown Girl in the Ring. Um, before I get started, let me just read you the back of the book um the rich and privileged have fled the city barricaded it behind roadblocks and left it to crumble the inner city has had to re rediscover old ways farmering farmering farming barter <laughs> herb lore but now the moneyed need a harvest of bodies so they prey upon the helpless of the street with nowhere to turn a young woman must open herself to ancient truth eternal powers and the tragic mystery surrounding her and her grandmother, her mother and her grandmother. She must bargain with gods and give birth to new legends. So, if you like magic, right? If you like magic, if you like really are into holistic energy, if you're really into connecting with your, your ancestors and the spirit and like, you do all the yoke, the, 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 the meditating and the sage burning, and all that stuff, you probably gonna like this book, okay? So, <laughs> so all I'm saying is that this book was really dope and it was like spiritual in a way and it was talking about the power of connecting with your ancestors. This book to me was really, really a uh, really good read. You know, it was such a really, such a powerful story. And the author who wrote it, Nilo, she's Jamaican born and her culture was all over this book like her culture was all over this book and that's one thing I appreciated about her writing was she connected with her culture to the story and one thing I want to say um, about that I grew up in Miami Florida right and growing up in Miami Florida I grew up around a lot of black people but different types of black people I grew up around a lot of Haitian and Jamaican and um, a lot of different Caribbean people right and Hispanic people I grew up a lot around a lot of that different rich culture but one thing that I noticed when I was growing up was the division between all of us right it was like 
it was always like this competition or one group thinking that they were better than the next group, one group down talking or down playing the next group. And as I, con as I grew up and I continued to study, you know, my roots as a black person, as an African person in this country, in this world, as a black person in this, in this world, I started to understand how stupid that was, <laughs> like, right? how, how completely idiotic it is for us to fight each other based off of our culture. Right, for us to fight each other because you're Caribbean and I'm American born, or because you're from Africa and I'm from the continent of America. That sh is stupid, okay? And we need to learn how to cut that out. I don't care what side it's coming from, whoever's doing it, we need to learn how to cut that out because that that is just the stupidest thing <laughs> ever in life. Because at the end of the day, when you lay your head down, we all. We all, we all black, okay? It don't matter. It don't matter. And we need to learn how to appreciate each other's differences, blend our differences sometimes, learn from each other, you know, just feed off of each other's good and powerful energy. And differences can make us even better when we join them together and, girl, create something new and more powerful. We need to stop doing that separation thing. That's for the birds, okay? I know I went off on a tangent, but that's for the birds. But I do really appreciate how she embedded her culture into this novel. It was really good. Like, it was really good. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers. I don't want to tell you too much about the book because I do want you to go ahead and pick up the book and read it yourself. But she definitely um, captivated me with this story. I was, from, from beginning to end, I was all in it. I was, like, completely captivated. It was something I wanted to keep turning and turning and turning and turning until I got to the end. It was a really good read. She's dope. Okay, she's a dope author, and I definitely give her her props for being imaginative and soulful at the same time. It was such a good, captivating read, and it connect. And I felt connected with her and connected with the story in a way that I haven't felt in a long time since October. So I really do recommend that you pick up um, this book in particular, Brown Girl. So I did pick up a second book that I have not finished yet. I just now started reading it, and this book is called Midnight Robber. And once again, the cover art is dope. The cover art is dope. <laughs> like, it's dope. It kind of looked like Beyonce. The video, what video was that? Y'all know that Beyonce video when she was wearing, what video is that? When I think of it, I'll put it down there. But it makes me think about that Beyonce video. It kind of looked like Beyonce. But anyway, and it kind of giving me that New Orleans vibe. You know. Yeah. I know. The Creole people. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, I haven't really delved into this book, so I can't really say, put my stamp of approval like I do on this book. This book was good, okay? But I am reading it currently, and um, I just started. I just started. But if you hear that squeaky sound, that's the chair, girl. That's the chair. I ain't over here just letting them loose. That's the chair. It's the chair, not me. Okay, but anyway, it says it's carnival time in the, Car in the Caribbean planet of Tucson. It's celebrated with music. Tucson. That makes me want to go on another tangent. Tucson Overture. I think he he led the Haitian Revolution, if I'm not mistaken. And the Haitian story is very important to our story. Remember that. But anyway, it's carnival time and the Caribbean colonized planet of Tucson is celebrated with music, dance, and pageantry. Mass midnight robbers waylay revelers with brandished weapons and spellbinding words. To young Tan Tan, the robber queen is simply a favorite costume to wear at the festival. Until her power corrupt, her power corrupted father commits an unforgivable crime. Suddenly, both father and daughter are thrust into the brutal world of New Halfway Tree. Her here, monstrous creatures from folklore are real, and the humans humans are violent outcasts in the wild. Tan Tan must reach into her heart of myth and become the robber queen herself. For only the robber queen's legendary powers can save her life and set her free. So one thing that I can say about this this book is that it's, it's deep, deep in Jamaican folklore. And I think about like music that I listen to. I really like Bob Marley, not just because he, you know, with the ganja or whatever. Because I really do like his music. If you really listen to Bob Marley music, like really listen to his music. He has some powerful messages in his music. His music is so powerful. If you listen beyond the surface of what people think you should know about Bob like he has some powerful music one of my favorite songs is war another one is crazy ball head another one is um redemption song 
But anyway, it kind of made me think about Bob because I like the list. It's um, the, the Duffy Conqueror. I'm a Duffy Conqueror. Yeah, it, made, it kind of made me think about Bob. But I, I really feel like her books are steeped deep in that Jamaican folklore, which is steeped deep in African folklore, if you ask me. Because um, Caribbeans are very connected to the motherland in a way that they don't even really realize. Um, but yeah, man, I really did appreciate reading Nilo's book and I can't wait to finish reading this one. She's an author I recommend. She's somebody I'm going to probably reach for for the next few books that I read because I did enjoy the way it made me feel. I like to, I like to close my, I like to read my, not close my eyes and read. Girl, that don't make no sense. How are you going to close your eyes and read? <laughs> I like to read and feel like when I read, it feels like my eyes are closed, rather. Like, so, cause I'm reading and I'm, girl, that chair. It's not me, it's the chair. <laughs> because when I read, I get so lost in the words that I feel like I'm living the story. I feel like it comes a part of me, right? I feel like it's just, like I'm living through the lens of whoever, whoever is the main character at the moment. And I can like see through their eyes and I like authors that can make me feel like I'm doing that because that means, to me, that means that you're a good author because I don't, I'm like trapped in her eyes and her mind and I'm like living through her while I'm reading the book and I can kind of feel her emotions and her pain and her happiness and her sadness as I'm reading the words. You gotta be a really captivating author to do that, right? And I really appreciate that about these kind of novels. So, yes, I highly recommend it. So I'm definitely coming in and recommend this to you guys. Y'all look, look out for some videos for me in the future. I have started a keto journey, which I really have a lot to say about keto. I have a lot of thoughts about keto. And if you really want, if you're interested in that, let me know. Like, not just, just sincerely let me know in the comment section. Thumbs this video up. Go check out my previous videos. Look down below. Click them up. Click on my videos. Pull them up. Look at them. Click like. Share with your friends. All that good stuff. But I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Me and my cute hair. <laughs> Akuna Matata, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. Stay beautiful, stay positive, and stay blessed.